I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. No matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be, no matter if you're rich or poor, no matter if you're the toughest to the weakest person on the face of this earth, no matter if you're dark-skinned or the light-skinned, I greet all you all with the same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. This would be part two. Well, today is July the, uh, the 30th, 2019. Uh, it's Tuesday. It's about 7.45 uh, p.m. Uh, this is part two of ignorant coward blacks killing our children and women. If you ain't seen part one, look at part one. And in part one, a few, uh, maybe an hour or so ago, I was right out here, but in my grass, by my house, talking about two black women that was just murdered Friday uh, uh, July the 26th, 2019 on the southwest side in Chicago in Ingles, uh, in Inglewood. Two mothers, one of them 26 years old, with three children, left three children behind, and the other one was 46, uh, 36 years old, left four children behind. They were standing on a corner where they formed a, a, they had a neighborhood watch to stop the violence, mothers against violence. And some cowards pulled up in an SUV now, right? We know I call them cowards because they shot down and killed these two women while they was on patrol about 10, almost 10 o'clock p.m. Friday the 26th of July 2019. They shot them and, and took off. They killed them because they trying to stop violence in the black neighborhood. They won't go in the white neighborhood and do this here. You see what I'm saying? Now, they shot and killed these two females. Every activist in Chicago, Illinois, and everywhere else, you should protest just like you protested when Donald Trump was trying to come speak in Chicago. You should protest the same way you protest when a police get killed. You see what I'm saying? You should do the same thing. But then, here it is. Uh, the very next day, a little bit after midnight, Saturday, uh, on the uh, 27th of July, 2019, some coward blacks, again, shot my 12-year-old granddaughter while she was on her porch with her stepdad and, uh, and, and, and his, his nephew. Shot her three times. Took off. That's what you call cowards. You know, black on black, black, black lives matter. All you other organizations that are talking about black lives matter, black lives can't matter to y'all because the only time you come out and protest if a white police kill a black. Now, when one of these aldermen senators, one of these Hollywood stars get shot or one of their children get shot, then you're making a big scene. But while I was out here doing this here, a prime example of a coward, ignorant black, a Negro, Negro or somebody ignorant. You seen him ride past in the white car when he got past, he said, F you, Raymond. But he said the word and I, and I F'd him back with the word which I try not to use profanity, but it's ignorant Negroes like that, you need to either put them in jail or put them in the cemetery. See, he can come by here and say, F you Raymond, but he ain't gonna say nothing to them white folks in the Charleston R1 school district that's misusing black children. He ain't gonna say nothing to them. He ain't gonna say nothing to the police department when they killed the, uh, uh, in 2011, November, when they shot, when one of the police shot and killed a 34-year-old mentally ill uh, black guy, he ain't gonna say nothing. He ain't gonna say nothing about all the blacks that done died up in the Mississippi County Jail. He ain't gonna say nothing about that, but he gonna come by and say me. But he got enough sense, like his, his counterparts, them two ignorant Negroes that I'm taking to court on August the 14th, 2019, for doing some of the same thing. But he rolled past. Now, if he stopped and get out of his car, 
I'm going to take it as a threat and I'm going to do my best to kill him. I don't care whose son he is. I don't care what organization he is because he don't need to be messing with a man that ain't messing with him. I can mention whatever I want to mention. I'm going to continue to mention these blacks in the NAACP, these groups down here that's misusing blacks. I'm going to continue to do it. Do me like you did the females up there. But one thing about me, I'm going to fight back. If you shoot me and run it and I got the strength, I'm going to get in that suburban and run your behind straight over. That's what they need to start doing to Negroes like that that roll past. Put them in jail or kill them. And I don't care who don't like what I'm saying. You see, because the black community ain't going to be safe until you start putting them individuals in jail because all they do, they cowards. They ride by cars and, and other stuff out their mouth, but they ain't men. I'm 61 years old. They know what I'm capable of doing. They were calling me rapist, pedophile, but they seen they ain't none of that true. But when they did that research, they seen homicide on there. They ain't talking about that because if they get out of their car, that's what it's going to be. If somebody else got to raise my children and take care of my daddy, that's what it's going to be. I'm going to make an example out of them jokers if they get out of their car and come here. I don't care who they belong to. When you mess with somebody, know you messing with you coward Negro that drove past in that car. Now watch that video and bring your ass back over here so I can send you down to William Funeral Home. You coward, ignorant punk. Peace be still.